audio clips, podcasting, and more at BobandSherry.com. So one of the managers here brought me my mail, as I require from them. And I'm sitting here looking at this breathtaking cover of the new Marie Claire. It's Gwen Stefani. It says, Gwen for the holidays. And this is Gwen's new Christmas song. And Gwen Stefani is on the other end of this phone call. Hi, Gwen. Oh, my gosh. You're so sweet. Thank you. Girl, can I tell you, this Marie Claire, the photos are breathtaking. The um, the article, the interview about you. I just learned so much about you. And my heart hey. just my heart just was really tugged. I mean, you've to arrive at the point you are now with your new Christmas album, which is so fun. And the way that you've gotten there, I just feel like you said in the article, like you feel like everything's meant to be that's brought you here. And it's really feeling like that, too, as a fan. Oh, thank you. I honestly like I'm having the time of my life. I really am. And I, as a songwriter, I've always wanted to try to write Christmas music. I just think it's one of those it's one of those things that if you could get a good one, like that would be like the dream, you know, because it repeats every year and you get to like be part of people's memories like yeah. in a Christmas way like that's like big you know what I mean and I thought a lot about like Christmas music and how like you think where did those songs come from like someone had to write that music like joy to the world someone wrote that you know what I mean it's just so I want to be part of that tell the story you were people who who don't know that much about you outside of your music don't realize that you're a very spiritual person and you were out for a run and and you were praying while you were running, just really thinking about, do I want to do this? And the whole idea for you make it feel like Christmas, it all sort of came together for you in that moment? I Yeah, that was one of the moments. I, I basically, like, I always feel like with music, because it's so, like, if you think about music and how intense it is and, like, how much it affects people's lives, like, You know, even if you don't write it, but even just like the music that defines you when you're a child, like when you connect to it and, and then to be part of writing it and then be part of my journey of like actually sharing it with people and, and especially like the last record where it's just so healing when you're, when you are going through something really painful or a life change, you know what I mean? Music can be such a healing thing and, and to be able to write it and then share it and then receive the love back from people that have supported me all these years. It's pretty intense, so I just look at that like as, you know, each song is so magical when it actually happens. I don't really take credit for that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I really feel like I received these songs, like, and that was a really good example of that happening where I went off for a run, and I think that, you know, everyone always wants to talk to me about, you know, how do you, how do you get your body, like, this and that, like, about my body the whole time, like, about, like, exercising or what I eat, and all these things. I'm like, God, it's so boring talking about that stuff, but... The thing that's really helped me in my life is not that physical exercise, it's that that mental exercise, that spiritual exercise. And so I went out for a run at Blake's Ranch and I, I was I was thinking about like if I wrote a, a song, what would it be? Like how, how can I write one, you know? And and that that song Christmas Eve just came out. I mean, it, I'm not kidding you, it was literally the whole melody and the lyrics all at one time and I was like, "Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I got to run back and put this on my phone. Like this is the song." And I, I thought I had copied it. Like I I told my mom, I was like, "Do you recognize this? Did I steal this from church?" <laughs> like and she's like, "No." So I don't know. I think music is just so it's unbelievably magic and um it's such a blessing that we have it. And so yes, I am quite spiritual. And if I didn't have that, I definitely would be have lost my mind by this point. You know, it's a funny thing. We're talking with Gwen Stefani right now. It's a funny thing. And I I know that you live this on the daily where people look at you and they go, well, you're successful and talented and beautiful. How could anything bad or sad ever happen to you? But you went through, you went through a really hellish period and you talk about it in the, in the Marie Claire article and, and you really doubt it. Your own, your own talent. You really doubt it. Your own songwriting there for a while. Well, I think, you know, what happens is, um, I, what I've discovered is that when you have, like, you have to look for your gift in your life, you know what I mean? And and you have to recognize what it is, and then you have to have confidence in it, because if you don't, it doesn't work, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that with songwriting, anything creative, you have to kind of open that channel up and be positive about it because like there a were there was a long time where everything in my life was just it felt clogged everything was wrong you know what I mean and when I would try to write a song 
I didn't have any confidence. Like I didn't know if it, it was, I didn't know if it was good or I didn't think it was good. I didn't even recognize if it was a chorus or not a chorus and all these kinds of things. So after like, after when things did just blow up in my face, my whole life, I went to write because I don't know, it just, I didn't write because I wanted to be like part of society and successful and be on the radio or anything else, but just to heal myself. Like I just felt that need. And when I started doing it, the songs were just flowing out of me. Like I was writing like two songs a day. It was like a miracle. And every one I would write, it would be like this like release, you know what I mean? And healing, Mm -hmm. feeling. So that whole record was like that. And then it was so crazy because as I was writing the record, every song was so angry and sad and depressing and like, oh, it was just full of everything I was going through. And then I, I met my best friend Blake. And then I started writing like all these like really like happy songs and, Honestly, if you look back at all the music I've written, I didn't really, I haven't, don't have a lot of those. Like. <laughs> so the 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 uh, first single you make you make it feel like Christmas. Blake Shelton, People's Sexiest Man Alive, singing with you on this song. His article in People was so funny about how he said, first of all, that you told him he had to do it. Live your life. Don't have regrets. But his attitude, like, hello, I'm the sexiest man alive. You can better believe I'm going to be celebrating that. It was great. What was it like working together on the song? Um, well, work it, like I, I fantasized a lot while I was on The Voice when I started discovering um, Blake's music because I didn't know anything that he had done. And then, you know, they had this one time where they wanted us to all, like all the coaches were going to do each other's songs. And so I started being like, well, I don't know any Blake's songs. So let me look <laughs> through. And he had he'd written a, a lot of songs. I just... I, I, certain ones that I discovered, I was like, whoa, I didn't realize that guy is so talented, you know what I mean? Because I didn't know him. Right yeah, so yeah. I wasn't expecting it to just come on my phone, like all of a sudden there's right. this like, hit song that he's like started. I was like, oh my gosh, what a jerk. He just sits around writing hits. And um, I took the song to Busby and we finished it. I don't think he thought he was going to be on the song. I think he was just trying to help me write a song, but I, there's no way I'm going to like not have him on it because he's no, you guys are not only adorable together, you sound really good together. It's a great little song. Thank you. And I know we have to let you go. Um, it was always always a pleasure having you on the show. Love the piece of Marie Claire. We're going to post all the links up at BobandSherry.com. And the new album is called You Make It Feel Like Christmas. Gwen Stefani, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you so 